The Skylab astronauts, Carr, Pogue, and Gibson, made final preparations today for their blast-off tomorrow morning from the Kennedy Space Center. From that launch pad tomorrow morning, three rookie astronauts, leaving their 13 children behind, take off to spend Christmas orbiting the Earth. Their mission, man's longest stay in the hostile environment of space, Skylab 3, an open-ended flight that could last as long as three months. Today, the crew unwound by flying jets through the sunny Florida skies. For Gerald Carr and William Pogue and Edward Gibson, it's been a long wait. Seven years in the astronaut program for Carr and Pogue, eight years for scientist Gibson. Two final delays caused by cracks in the launch rocket, and it's waited uh, for eight years, too. But astronauts and space officials are confident now of an on-time 9 a.m. start for a mission crowded with experiments measuring the crew's physical responses and giving man the best view he's ever had of a visitor from outer space. A close-up look at the comet Kohotek, now burning a fiery trail through our planetary system. Tomorrow's space launch at Cape Canaveral will be the last American manned space flight until 1975. The Skylab 3 astronauts are scheduled to lift off at one minute after 9 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow morning for a record 85-day stay in space. For rookie astronauts Jerry Carr, Ed Gibson, and Bill Pogue, the day began long before dawn at 4 a.m. when they sat down to breakfast with fellow astronauts, their last meal on Earth before lifting off on their scheduled 85-day long flight. As dawn broke over Canaveral, they got in the Apollo spacecraft at pad 39 and the hatches were closed. And then ignition. Three, two, we have ignition. We have a liftoff. Liftoff, the engine's building up to 1.6 million pounds of thrust and Skylab is moving slowly off the pad. It's cleared the tower. Right on schedule, one minute after 9 a.m. Eastern time. The Saturn I rocket lifted off flawlessly into a bright blue sky. And both with the eyeball and long-range cameras, it was visible for hundreds of miles out over the Atlantic, all the way to burnout. Engine shut down. S-4B has ignited. The issue was never in doubt. Both stages and all the engines of the Saturn I rocket performed perfectly on this 30th U.S. manned space flight. Skylab 3, the last and the longest current U.S. manned space flight, off to a good start. But on any mission this long, 85 days long, there are bound to be problems. Ahead lies the single toughest test that spacecraft and men have ever faced. But it'll tell us more than any past flight has about how much we can learn from and use space in the future. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, at Cape Canaveral. Carrying three rookie astronauts into orbit, Skylab 4 was the largest all-rookie crew launched by NASA. It launched on November 16, 1973. Skylab 4 would be the last of the Skylab missions. It included observation of the comet Kohotek and numerous experiments. The first of four spacewalks during the mission was conducted on November 22, 1973, and lasted 6 hours and 33 minutes. During the spacewalk, astronauts Pogue and Gibson took photos of Earth's atmosphere, installed experiments, and repaired an antenna housed on the exterior of the station. The second spacewalk of the mission, this one conducted by astronauts Carr and Pogue, occurred on Christmas Day, 1973. During this spacewalk, the astronauts retrieved and replaced film from the solar telescopes housed outside the workshop and photographed the comet Kohotek and repaired the solar telescope. That spacewalk was the longest of Skylab, 
7 hours and 1 minute. The day before their third EVA, December 28, 1973, the crew famously went on strike. They turned off radio communications with NASA ground control and spent time relaxing and looking at the Earth before resuming communications. The three men are alleged to have stopped work completely. Gibson spent the day in Skylab Solar Council, and Karim Pogue spent the time in the war room looking out the window. Once communication resumed, there were discussions between the crew and NASA about the struggles the crew was having. East Skylab pushed further into the unknown of space medicine, and it was difficult to make predictions about the reaction of the human body and the human mind to prolonged weightlessness. The first manned Skylab mission set a spaceflight record with 28 days. Skylab 3 roughly doubled that to 59 days, and no one had spent this long in orbit. Possible contributing factors to the strike included a 12-week-long stay at the station, the isolation in microgravity, and the workload expectations of the Skylab team and mission control. This, coupled with crew experience and no transition period, likely contributed to the cause. However, the next day, December 29, 1973, Carr and Gibson donned their suits and conducted a third spacewalk at the mission lasting three hours and 29 minutes. They retrieved space exposure experiment samples from the exterior of the Skylab and photographed the comet Kohotek. The fourth and final spacewalk of the mission was conducted on February 3rd, 1974 and lasted five hours and 19 minutes. During this spacewalk, astronauts Carr and Gibson retrieved space exposure experiment samples and their collectors and removed all remaining film from the cameras located outside the station for return to Earth. With this EVA, the crew broke existing records for total spacewalk time during a single mission, achieving a total spacewalk time of 22 hours and 22 minutes. In a then record-breaking 84-day man flight, accumulating a total of 3.4 million miles around the Earth, several more records were broken. A total of 1,563 hours of scientific experiments were performed, about twice that of Skylab 2 and 3 combined. The crew, after having spent the longest total time in space to date, finished the mission in better physical condition than any previous Skylab crew with the exception, of course, of bone calcium loss. The 84-day of Skylab 4 mission was a human spaceflight record that was not exceeded for over two decades by a NASA astronaut. However, the 96-day Soviet Salyut 6 EO-1 mission broke Skylab 4's record in 1978. Skylab 4 mission continued for several more weeks before the crew returned to Earth on February 8, 1974. The 84-day mission was Skylab's last crew, and the last time American astronauts set foot in a space station for almost two decades until Shuttle Mir in the 1990s. <laughs>